All right, so this is, uh, I guess I call this the in-between video. It's not really a buying a car video, uh, and nor is it a selling a car video. It's kind of a combination between the two. And, uh, and boy, I tell you, it's everything I'm learning on this journey as we move along. Um, first thing was uh, in the uh, selling the car video, I talked about uh, on the back of the title, uh, there is this, um, Florida requires the seller to file a notice of sale with the department within 30 days after the sale or transfer of the motor vehicle, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then it says, I have this day transferred by assignment of the delivered Florida certificate of title two, and then name of purchaser and address, and then the seller's signature, and then the co-seller signature, and then the purchaser's name and, uh, first, last, uh, Anyway, so talking to my garage, um, they said, this don't work. Uh, they know people who've gone in and filed this, uh, it's called a notice of sale. And uh, they uh, then later came to find out that the buyer hadn't gone in and transferred the title properly. And, uh, and then the seller was on the hook. Then they said, man, if you sell your car, you go down to and and, and it's Florida here. It's the tax collector's office. Uh, we got a few of them around the area. I'll probably go to the one in Belleville here, which is nearby. And uh, he says, you sit down with that buyer and you do the paperwork right there uh, and make sure they pay the taxes, they pay the transfer fee, and that that title is then in their name. Um, you know, and we already said that you're going to get the, uh, the, the tags off the car. Um, so... You know, that's kind of one thing I missed in the uh, uh, selling the car. The other thing is, you know, it's only been a couple days. I'm not having a whole lot of luck. I put the car up on Craigslist. Uh, and what I'm finding is here in Florida, the um, Craigslist doesn't appear to uh, to be the place to go. I guess they, uh, I, you know, up in Virginia, I sold a car in one day on Craigslist. And so that's $5 I probably pissed away. But um, not even getting a nibble. Now, maybe the price is too high, but uh, I ran the Kelly Blue Book, and granted, the price of used cars has gone up. Inflation, people. And uh, so where my car used to be worth 8500 or so, it's now they're saying it's anywhere from 9000 to 11000 So I put it right in between. I put it like 9500 thinking, well, you know, that's kind of on the low end, and um, not even a nibble. So then I went up to, and I probably did it wrong because I've never been there before. I, I had an old account on a fake book. I didn't want to go there, but everybody said, oh, go to a fake book uh, marketplace. That's the place to go. Everybody looks at that. So I went up and I put it on there. And uh, I only looked last night after I'd been up for five or six hours. I hadn't even had one view, not even one person had <laughs> looked at the, uh, the advertisement. Either I did something wrong in making it public or or it's suppressed because I'm not giving fake book any money to bring it up in their algorithm. Uh, or maybe they know I'm a conservative and they, <laughs> they're like, we're, not, we're burying that ad. You know, who knows? Uh, then, of course, I'm getting conflicting information. Uh, one guy, uh, he told me uh, there's an app on the phone, uh, somethingoffer.com. Um, and uh, I'm going to look into that. Uh, and, and he says that's where he goes to buy all this stuff because it's an app on the phone and everything's on the phone these days. So I, I, I'll have to get you that in, 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 the, in the, the sell, sell the car video, which this kind of is. Uh, I mean, in the um, uh, buy a car video. Um, so going to do that. Um, another guy wanted me on Auto Trader. Auto Trader wants 50 bucks. Now that you can keep renewing it, so you know the good thing there is you know Craigslist expires, and they only gave me 29 days, which I was kind of pissed about. You'd think you'd get 31, but uh, no, it so it expires and then it's gone. But I guess it doesn't matter; nobody's looking at it. And then Auto Trader, 50 bucks. Uh, one guy sold his car at, at the garage with Auto Trader. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do I want to pay the 50? No, I'm not yet. I'll give it a couple, maybe a week, and uh, and then I'm gonna I am gonna start dropping the price down. Uh, like a hundred every every couple of days, and it, you know, another person said eBay. Uh, I've had bad luck with eBay. Um, when I did it uh, the first time, some guy came in, he made the offer because you put your minimum bid. I thought, cool, man, the car sold. Then he comes back and go, I ain't paying that much, you know. And I, you know, all I could do was 
bring it to eBay's attention and what they do is they'll nix nay his account and I'm sure he just goes up and opens another account. Uh, but it does, you know, if eBay, when you're buying big ticket items like that, it does require identification. So maybe that guy, he never got back on eBay as a result of being stupid. Um, so, uh, so that's kind of um, still in the, in the process of selling the car. Is there anything else that I told you wrong in the first video? And um, I can't think of anything, you know, uh, um, other than the, uh, the title story. Uh, I guess that's it. Um, so let's get into to buying uh, a car. Um, you know, right now, man, you know, I don't know what you're doing. If you need a car, you don't really want to wait. Uh, I've, they had to order my car. It took them two weeks to get the uh, Toyota. I bought the Prius Prime uh, just because I need the gas mileage because I'm going to be doing a lot of miles on this car. And, uh, and plus, I think Biden's going to get that gas price up to $6 a gallon. And if you're out there buying those gas guzzlers, uh, you know, the fracking industry is destroyed. The Keystone Pipeline's gone. Your, the Anwar uh, um, exploration's gone. Uh, you know, the Green New Deal's here, baby. And whether you want to believe it or not, uh, you know, that's why I bought the gas sipper. And uh, I'm going to actually, I'm going to bring it into my garage. And we're going to do, I want to do a whole review of the, uh, the Toyota Prius Prime. I won't talk about it in this video because this isn't about me. And I, and I just, I didn't, I, it doesn't matter what car you buy, but I'm just telling you, like I was hearing on the radio today that uh, a woman was trying to buy a pickup truck because she wants to tow a boat down to Florida from somewhere. I don't know where it's, uh, it's a northern state. And uh, she couldn't find a pickup truck. She said she'd asked in South Carolina. She had asked in her state. Um, I think for some reason she couldn't get one in Georgia for what maybe they, they had no reciprocation. Uh, uh, there's none available. She's been to four dealers in her state. I mean, so cars are getting difficult. Even used cars are getting hard to find. Um, but let's talk about buying the car just briefly uh, and how I went about it and, uh, and, and, and the misery it caused me, uh, but well worth it. Um, I'm not a haggler, you know. I know a lot of people, you want to go in there and fight with the dealer and, well, you know, let me go back and talk to my manager and, uh, um, you know, we, we, we just can't come down to that price, you know, or you got, you know, and then of course you got the trade in, you know what, trade in is bullshit, man. It's just, you know, the, the, even the guy he admitted today, he said that we were, most that we could have gotten for a trade in was $5,000. If I take it to CarMax, uh, I get 6500 so I'm already $1,500 over the trade in. And, uh, and, and that's all they'd use the trade-in for is to rip you off. And then it just adds to the paperwork. And uh, as it was, uh, we're going to get into that story. I was still at the damn dealer all damn day long, which is ridiculous because I'm going to give you the story of how I bought the car. And but So, okay, uh, USAA used to have Auto Circle gone, car buying service. Uh, Navy Federal, they used to have car buying service gone. You know, because I always go through credit union. You can go through your bank. Uh, maybe your bank has a car buying service. Car, Cars Direct, uh, as far as I know, is gone. So I just happened to go to Pentagon Federal Credit Union. And as a military veteran, um, by the way, you, you can join USAA. You can join Navy Federal. You can join Pentagon Federal if you're a veteran. Okay. Uh, and, but Pentagon Federal had an amazing deal. It was 2% uh, interest on the loan uh, just going straight through them. And they still offered the uh, true car. And I'm, I, I don't know if you've heard of true car. True car kind of took over from everybody for a while. And I didn't even know it still existed. But I saw it at Pentagon. And I, it was real easy. All you did was fill out the work stuff and say, hey, I, I want a true car. And, uh, and, but, I mean, it, it wasn't close. There, you know, there, we got a, a Toyota uh, dealer here in uh, Leesburg. Uh, we got one down in Ocala. Uh, you think they even made a bid? <laughs> Heck no. I had to go to Homo Sasa or Homo Stasa, or wherever the hell I was on the Gulf Coast to get the car. And like I said, it still took them two weeks to get the car in. But I got the true car value, which really wasn't much better than the sticker price uh, but it was right on the sticker price they didn't they didn't go uh, i got a little bit off of it the i think where the savings was and all and all the dealer markup i think i got about half off on that it's still a huge it's still two thousand five hundred three hundred dollars in dealer markup and that just seems to be the going 
rate, you know, and oh, we paint protected the car. Who gives a flip, you know? Uh, I, now I did negotiate and I got the, um, the, uh, the WeatherTech match. They're actually from the dealer, so they're going to have Toyota written on them, but they're the same quality as the WeatherTech. And then 100 bucks to get the mat for the back. Uh, and like I said, we're going to be doing a, um, a bunch, a video or two on the, on the Prime. Uh, but here's, here's the thing, by going through True Car, man, unheard of, 1% financing, or 0.99%. I mean, at this day and age, it's about 4% if you go through the dealer. Okay, I got 1% financing on this thing. All right, we got half off of the, uh, the dealer price, and then um, and I got just below sticker value for, for, the, for a car that's really hard to come by. Okay, the, the, the Prius Prime, they're, they're few and far between. All cars are few and far between. Go, go look for a new car, I guarantee you. Unless you're getting, you know, something that's the gas guzzler that nobody wants, you know. Um, so, oh, I wanted to, let's just get to the day at the dealer and that'll be it for this video. Um, so I got the check from the, um, the credit union, uh, cut in the name of the dealer. Uh, all I had to do was sign the back of it and boom, you know, they got their, their money. Uh, that was 25,000 right there. Okay. That's what I financed. The rest of the money is coming out of pocket. Uh, so then, you know, uh, at first they were haggling. They didn't want me. I'm just going to put it on my credit cards. I get 2% cash back on one credit card and 1.5% on another credit card. When you're putting 4,000, 5,000 on a credit card, that's, you know, that's, that's a little bit of money, you know, in your pocket. So why not? Especially, you know, as long as you pay it off by the end of the month. And if I sell my car, I'll be, the, the credit cards will be paid off. And if I don't sell the car, I'm going to, I got another way I'm going to pay them off by borrowing against my, uh, my life insurance policy, cash value. I got a whole life policy and I'll just use that. And then I'll use the money from the sale of the car to pay off the, uh, the loan from the cash value. But anyway, so you get your, your down payment on the car, however you want. Okay. So I got everything. I got the credit cards. I had about a thousand and five hundred in cash. Uh, you know, I've got the, the $25,000 check. You would think, you would think that I'm just going to walk in the door. Okay, here's your money. This is the price we negotiated on. And, uh, and then I'm out the door. Oh, hell no. Oh my God. I get in there. The first thing was I talked to the guy about putting a hitch on the car. Well, because it's a Prius, it was going to be a class one hitch. Well, I got a big bike rack, weighs maybe, um, 50, 100 pounds. By the time you put two bikes on it, it's 200, 250 pounds. I talked to the hitch house and they're like, oh, hell no, don't put a bike rack on that or a hitch on that car because the weight of the bike rack, it's not like pulling something, you know, which, what are you going to pull with a Prius anyway? You know, so I called him back. I said, no, nah, forget the damn hitch. Well, he had, he had already added all that into the price, even though I never told him I wanted the hitch. I just told him to look into it and see what it was going to cost. And it was like 800 and some dollars. Man, I could go to the hitch house and put it on for 300. So don't, don't ever put a hitch on at the dealer. There you go. Lesson learned there. So now he's got to go back and redo all the numbers to get it back to the quote that I, that I had been quoted originally. That took, a, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, you know. So then, you know, he says, well, we're next. Uh, the, the, we only had two finance guys come in and, and you're next. Uh, so, you know, waited another hour, hour and a half, fiddle faddling around, you know, and I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to ask questions about the car, learn what I can. The guy, he's a salesman. He don't know diddly. I mean, what the hell are they teaching these guys? Well, you can go back and talk to the mechanics eventually, you know, but I, I'm kind of wanting to hang out because I keep thinking I'm going to get with the finance guy. So finally I get the finance guy and what does he do? He goes back to his back room for another hour and a half. I mean, so, and plus I had to drive there. I had to have a neighbor drop me off. A guy came to Inverness, which I made a video there. You're going to want to watch that. It's a nice, nice place. And, uh, you know, so, so I, I literally, it was all day. I, I started at like nine this morning and I didn't get home till about six at night. Poor dog. He was here by himself. I had no idea. I thought I was going to be gone just a couple hours because I had all the money, you know? Oh my God. God, these dealers, I mean, it's like going to the damn VA hospital. I mean, it was just chaos, you know. 
and the guy's like, well, oh, wow, you got a check and you don't have a trade in, you know, and then, of course, it's just like joining the military, sign here, sign there, sign here. I mean, you're going to sit there and read all the fine print. God knows what I signed, you know, but you, they wear you down and you're just like, I just want to get the hell out of here, you know, and you kind of, I'm trying to read, I read the big print and kind of see what it's about and, you know, do you want to read all the little print and I try to read some of that to see if there's anything that jumps out at me that, uh, that you may want to think about. Um, so there you go. That's kind of the in-between. You know, that's, that's the buy-in of the car. And, and, you know, that's the thing. You want to go in with cash. And, and cash, when I say cash, have your own financing. Don't go through the... I mean, now the dealers would whack when they were offering zero or one percent. I've gone through the dealer for financing because they're giving you the car. Okay? And I, so I financed through the dealer, but not anymore. They're at 4%. You can get a better deal at your credit union. Even Navy Federal Credit Union, I think, was 2.99%, which was still lower than the dealer. Okay? But Pentagon just blew them all away. And with that true car uh, non-negotiating, where I didn't have to negotiate and just go in and pick up the car, you know, you would think. It didn't work out that way, but I mean, it, I still got it for the price that I was quoted. I mean, there was no, there was no haggling. There was no haggling to be done. You know, other than how they were going to accept payment. And, and the guy took the credit cards. I'd been told that they wouldn't take more than 5000 of the credit cards because they had been burnt. How do you get burnt on a credit card? Okay. If the transaction goes through on the credit card, the person that, that I think they were jerking me around because they didn't want to pay that 6% uh, fee on the credit cards. But you know what? All they had to do was say, hey, if you pay us in cash, we'll give you another $400 off the car. And then I wouldn't have put it on the credit card. I would have paid cash. But no, they wouldn't do that. No, so I just, well, just talk it on a credit card. Screw them. All right, man. So that's it for uh, the in-between. A little longer than I intended. Uh, the next video, uh, we'll get uh, probably into the Prius review. Probably talk a little bit more about buying the car. I'm sure there's some things I missed. Uh, um, but I mean, I, I can't imagine. I mean, the financing, the, the lack of negotiating by going with true car or whatever, um, you know, uh, having cash, paying, putting your down payment on it. Uh, of course, you know, all this is dependent on, you know, your credit rating and all of that stuff. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know, and, and, and in my case, would I rather have sold my car before I picked up the new car? Yeah, I would have. Um, but, uh, but that wasn't really an option because I got to get up to see my mother in Virginia. And, uh, that's why I bought this new car. Um, and we'll get into, uh, some of the stats on this thing uh, but here let's just give you one um, electricity plus gasoline uh, 133 miles per gallon <laughs> gasoline only 54 miles per gallon uh, and uh, and then it just goes on from there um, and then I can't wait to show you the car because it just I love it it's it, because I'm a simple guy. I feel like uh, Bill O'Reilly. I'm a simple guy. I don't want that newfangled, all that electronic crap. And I'll show you because I, I downgraded everything. That's, I'm a manual person, man. Of course, I don't have manual windows. I mean, you know, can't even get those anymore. But I mean, manual seat, cloth seats, you know. I went for the bare minimum on everything. And uh, anyway, all right. So, peace out. Say hi, boo. Hi, boo. Whoops. Oh, here, let's get him up. Say hi, Boo. There you go. Boo dog, the Boo dog, the Boo star.